Man, Uncle William, that being Uncle Maxwell to you, must have really not liked this guy in particular. It is the Imprisoned Pig set piece, everyone. One that might honestly be the rarest in every single Don't Starve experience out there. So much so, I loaded up the game today to showcase the Maxwell's Graveyard set piece, saw that this had spawned, and simply could not pass it up. As I am not joking, this is merely the second time I have ever seen this thing in-game, ever even with set piece configuration on for practically every world I have ever made. Yes, it is that rare, but sadly, there really ain't much to it. The obelisks that cover the front of the Porky Prison shouldn't really be anything new. They are the same ones that we can find by the fat man himself or down in the atrium within the caves. And for the most part, they are proximity based. However, we can actually manipulate them ourselves through sanity. And it is very simple. High sanity will see the obelisks blocking you while sanity levels that are at 15% or lower will have the obelisks fall away and allow us to pass. So, you can do this the hard way by slowly draining and regaining your sanity through food or anything like that, or just plop on a nightmare amulet for Pete's sake for instant access. Good stuff. Now, the basalts around the joint are so big and heavy that looking to mine them is gonna be futile. Attempting to blow them up will likely just result in you being blown in the process. Wait, that's not what I meant. And at the end of the day, even bosses are powerless against them. Yes, even the mighty, fluffy Berger. And that is interesting stuff. So to build off that, this incredibly rare set piece could very well just end up being the one and only foolproof cage for big bats. Yes, end tables and fossils work for many bosses too, but Berger can actually walk over and break them himself. With basalt, however, not a soul beyond a nightmare creature can pass or smash them. But it's not gonna all be smooth sailing. Because even though it looks and sounds foolproof, it really isn't. The basalts are impassable, very much so. However, the obelisks only react to players nearby, not mobs. So, Uncle Maxwell's impenetrable prison seems to have a fatal flaw. The prisoners within the walls can kinda just walk straight out of the front gate. That said, it is still a very cool location to find, if you ever find it, that is. Sometimes bosses will cooperate and just stay nice and tucked in there. Some folk have tried to farm a hound by trapping vargs in the place, and others just leave the pig to his own dang devices, really. Whatever the case, no matter how uneventful the thing may be, it's still a very awesome set piece. Expect more of these soon, and perhaps even in Solo Don't Starve, as some of the best set pieces are in Solo Don't Starve. But thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.